One of the most beloved and meaningful festivities of our Mexican cultural heritage here in San Antonio is Dia de los Muertos, whose practice goes back at least 700 years on this continent. Its meaning is a way of remembering and documenting the important individuals in our lives who have died. And it's also a healthy way to grieve those losses and turn them into treasures we can keep forever. Altars to dead loved ones are laid out at cemeteries or at home, covered with those things that were most enjoyed by the deceased while alive, food, drink, flowers, and other tributes to their lives and tastes. It's a happy celebration, not a sad one. It celebrates the best so that we never lose the joy or the love from those who are deceased. Things we usually find on altars are marigolds, flor de muertos, the flower of the dead, said to attract the souls of the dead back from the life beyond as the spirits follow the flower's scent and the vibrant colors to the altar. Also, we find pan de muertos, the bread made for the dead, often in shape of a male or female or whomever we're commemorating. We find candles to provide light and warmth, a glass of water to refresh the thirst of those who have come so far from beyond death, back to live with us here for the evening. We find papel picado in elaborate paper designs in many colors. The San Antonio River Authority has chosen to celebrate Dia de los Muertos 2020 with its own altar, one to a person of exceptional significance and heartfelt impact in our lives, Sally Matthews Buchanan. Born and raised in San Antonio, her feisty love of this city and its many cultures were quite evident. She was a fierce activist for our river, wouldn't back down when it came to protection of the quality and quantity of water in our aquifers, creeks, and rivers. She was very involved with the San Antonio River Authority and served on their board for 17 years, many of those years as chair. She was also instrumental in creating the San Antonio River Foundation in 2003 and a leader in helping support fundraising for public art, education, and outdoor recreation. There are recipe books and ingredients because she loved to cook sit-down dinners. That's why you'll find a tiny table and chairs here as well, in case you decide to accept her invitation to join her. And there's a painting of the river walk where she spent many hours and much care on the restaurants she and Bob established. Well, how do you say just marvelous? Sally was an unbelievable companion. Uh, wife, best friend, mother, uh, very caring. As she famously said, if you're willing to not take credit, you can get so much more accomplished than if you're out there trying to search the glory and the credit yourself. And that's something that she wholeheartedly believed in. And after her passing, the impact that she had became that much more clear. I mean, she just loved San Antonio. She loved the, the culture of the city and everything it had to offer. And she just loved the people. She did not care where you came from. She accepted you as a person and just wanted to know your story. She, she was passionate about that. It was a wonderful thing. Sally, you were an amazing woman. So your legacy as a strong woman continues in all of our hearts. Thank you. Sally, on this Dia de los Muertos, as we stand here by this altar, remembering all the many gifts of your gusto for life, for our pueblo, for this river whose healing water was defended and protected by you, I think we miss most your Sallyisms the way you dressed up our language and made it go to town. But our favorite, your favorite, life's favorite was no puedo, no vale, which means I can't, 
just ain't gonna cut it. Yes, Sally, what we miss most is no puedo, no vale, because when it comes to reaching for all that needs to be done, you did it. Thank you.